Hello, I hope this video finds you well. This is Night 11 in my nightly recording of a coding bat solution. Tonight we're going to look at front back, which is located in section warm up one, and it's a Java implementation. You can find the Python implementation in another video. Let's start by looking at the problem. Given a string, return a new string where the first and last characters have been exchanged. And I want to draw your attention to something that isn't here, and that is a statement about the length. Often you'll get these problems and they'll say something like the length will always be greater than or equal to 2. But we need to think about situations where the length is 0 or the length is 1. And specifically we have to watch out for index out of bounds error. And I'll show you what I mean when we code the solution here. The next thing we always do is we look at the examples and we make sure we understand what the problem is doing. So front back code returns EODC. And we can see that the first character and the last character have been swapped. Front back A returns A, so there's been no change there. Or you can think about it, the first and last character have been swapped, but they're the same character. And then front back AB is going to return BA. We can see again there, the first and last character have been swapped. So to solve this problem, we're going to use string construction. So I'm just going to make a new, a new string called USTR, and I'm going to set it equal to zero, or just an empty string. Now I recognize we could just do it in one line there, but I'm not going to. And the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an integer and I'm going to find str.length. So, like I said, let's start off by not worrying about the length of the string. And let's just code this. So, new str is going to equal to str. And I want to get the very last character in the string. And the way I do that is I do char at, and it's going to be the length. Sorry, I forgot to put length here, int len is going to be the length minus 1. Now what I want to do is I want to get everything from the first index to the second last letter. And so this is a substring, so we're going to say str.substring, and I'm going to go from index 1 to, and if I want to get the OD, it's going to be from index 1 to index 3, which is the length minus 1 plus str.char at and I want to get the very first character, which would be char at 0. And then I just return new str. Forgetting my semicolons. There we go. And you can see it works in many cases, but we get a couple of those weird cases. And that is a case where we have a length of 1, and a case where we have an empty string. And what I need to do is account for those before I actually run through theirs. Because what we're doing is getting index out of bounds errors here. Um, because if my length is 0, 0 minus 1 is negative 1, and that doesn't make sense. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a simple if statement here and say if length is less than 2, what are we going to do? We're just going to return str. We don't have to do any manipulation to it. And there you go. So I hope this video helped. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Have a good day.